Hola. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. Hello, teacher. Okay, welcome. Welcome to all of you. Okay, we have only four.
So. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. welcome. Thank you. My mom. Okay, welcome to all of you. Remember, this is the last week. Uh, for the reason we need to resolve all the exercises that we have in the platform. Esta es la vuelta más semana, por lo tanto, les pido que vayamos resolviendo todos los ejercicios que tenemos eh, pendientes en la plataforma. He estado revisando y algunos solamente han completado la semana 1 y 2. No así la 3 ni el nature exam. Si hay alguno que todavía no lo ha hecho, por favor lo invito a que lo haga, ya que el día viernes terminando módulo yo cuadro notas. Dígame, Roxana. Disculpe, teacher, eso le iba a decir, a ver si podría revisar, a ver si, al menos de mi parte, o sea, yo siento que voy al día. Pero no sé si se me habrá escapado alguna que no he hecho. Porque al menos ayer hice la última, la 15. Ahorita Roxana tiene las tres semanas y el Mitchell me sale, solo le falta la semana cuatro. Solo María falta esta semana, ¿verdad? Así es. Va, ok, teacher, gracias. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Y me podría revisar si estoy bien yo, por favor.
Hola. Jonathan ya tiene completo todo. Teacher. Hello, sir. Aprovechando, la última vez usted me mencionó que tenía un problemita ahí con una inasistencia. No sé si se resolvió, teacher. Ah, resolvió. Era, era, era por parte del sistema, no por parte de usted. Era por parte del sistema. Sí, ya voy a verificar. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok. Thank you. Okay, let us see. Okay, I got 10. Well, we are going to start talking about the new topic today because uh, we need to start early in the class. So uh, I'm going to start with you and the rest can add during the classes uh, developing. Vamos a dar inicio porque ya esperé varios minutos y solamente aparecieron 10. Entonces, para no hacerles esperar más, uh, we are going to start now. Vamos a dar inicio. Me recuerdan, por favor, bueno, vamos a pasar la lista de una vez, ya que si lo dejo para después se me va a escapar. Ok, bueno, pues. Okay, um, let me Bueno, antes de, de pasar la lista, 
solo mencionar a uno, dos, que tres. Les, les hace falta a uh, algunos solamente tienen la semana uno. Les hace falta la semana dos y tres. En esa condición tengo varios. Así que les pido que revisen, por favor. Ok, América Elizabeth. Hola, América. Present teacher. Ok, ahí estamos. América Blanca Esperanza. Blanca, Blanca. No, here. Ok, Brian, David. Present. Ok, so Brian, David, here. Diego Antonio Rodríguez. Diego. Present. Ok, Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alexis. Ingrid Geraldina. Present. Ok. Jonathan Stanley. Present, teacher. Ok. Uh, José Luis. Present. Teacher. Karen Michelle. Karen Michel. Carla Lisset. Presente. Ok, uh, Katherine. Present. Okay. Uh, Lilian Soraya. Lilian. Mayra. Mayra Unice, pero no existe. Eh, Mauricio Antonio. Present. Ok, Mauricio Estriacho. Roxana Álvarez. Present, teacher. Ok, uh, Roxana Elizabeth. Present. Sara Alejandra. Present. Ok, so we'll start soon. Okay, here we go. We will adjust our Teacher, voy entrando. Blanca Esperanza. Ah, ok. Por eso no me respondió. ¿no? Sí. Ok, here we go. So here, Blanca Esperanza. Okay, Perfect. Gracias. Okay, let me show you the topic of how to use prepositional display. This is class number 16. This is the class or the session number 16. A 4 para llegar a la 20, que sería el final del módulo. Primeramente Dios el día viernes. Okay, we are going to start with this reading. Vamos a iniciar con esta lectura. Uh, I'm going to read it at least twice. Voy a leerla dos veces. Y luego ustedes eh, se van incorporando a la lectura. Dice, I'm a bit shy when I have to speak English. To speak in English. I'm a little worried about making mistakes. I also still lack confidence. Many of my friends don't worry about mistakes. They just talk and talk. They always get their message across. 
even if their grammar is wrong. I think this is the best things to do. My teacher always say it's the best to learn by doing. If I don't try to speak English, I never be able to use it when I need it. Once in I started doing reason it was coming to myself. I shared a conversation with myself. I think it might I think it works. I also make short stories about people and say them aloud. I do this in my room. Of course, people would think I'm crazy if I didn't it in class or on the train. Okay, question before you start reading. Okay, I'm going to give you at least two minutes that in, in order that you can read it. And later on, you can ask questions if you don't understand something. Bueno, le voy a dar un promedio de dos minutos y fracciones para que lo lean y puedan encontrar las palabras difíciles para ustedes. Las corregimos y luego comenzamos a leer. ¿Les parece? Okay. Okay. Okay, um, questions? If not, uh, you are going to start reading. It's up to you. Teacher. Hello? La palabra... De... Stories, no, 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 no logro pronunciarlo bien. Casi al final dice, and also may short, short stories. 
stories. Stories. Stories. Sí, porque la, la otra palabra parecida es history. Ajá, correcto. Entonces, una es como algo real y la otra es algo inventado, ficticio, ¿no? Esa es la diferencia. En ok. Que cuando hablamos del History Channel, estamos hablando de algo científico. Ah, ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Ok, who wants to start reading? Hola. ¿Puedo leer, teacher? Voy a intentarlo. Ok, ok. Try to do it. Go ahead. Eh, ¿Solo un parrafito o, o ambos? Mm, solo el primero, por favor. Only the third one. Ok. I bid, mm, I bid shy when I had to speak English. In English. I am a little worried about making mistakes. I also still lack confidence. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Confidence. 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 Thank you. Many of my friends don't worry about mistakes. They just talk and talk. They always get their. Eh, aquí, teacher. Mensaje. Bueno. Ok, hold on a second, let me see where you are. Ahí. Right here. Después de, they always get their... They always get their message. Message. Message across. Message across. Even in their grammar is wrong. I think this is the best thing to do. Ok, aquí es la palabra wrong. Is run. Run. Yes, run. Okay. ¿Y significa? Eh, algo malo. Mal, ok. Sí. Ok, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it. ¿Alguien más? Hola, hola, hola. Sí, viendo los dos. Ok, la América. I am, uh, I'm a bit, she when I have to speak in English, I, I'm a little worried about Making esa palabra no sé cómo se pronuncia, profe. Mistakes. Yeah, mistakes. ¿Será así? Yeah, mistakes. Ah, mistakes. I also still lack confidence. Many of my friends don't worry about mistakes. They who talk and talk. They al al head meshes across even in they grammar is wrong. I think this is the best thing to do. Okay. Okay, I'm going to read again. Will you read it, America? Hold on a second, please. Voy a leer más, but then, por favor, de ponerle play record. Lo voy a leer eh, no tan despacio, pero no demasiado rápido. Dice, I'm a bit shy when I had to speak in English. I'm a little worried about making mistakes. I also still lack confidence. 
Many of my friends don't worry about mistakes. They just talk and talk. They always get their message across, even if their grammar is wrong. I think this is the best things to do. Okay, continue leyendo, por favor. Tengo tres participantes. Veamos, tengo a quién. Uh, let me see, Carla Lisset. Veamos, Carla Lisset. Carla, Carla, Carla. Eh, okay. Um, a bit of time when I have to speak in English, I am a little worried about making mistakes. I also still lack confidence. Many of my friends don't worry about mistakes. Then you stop and talk. They always get their message across when, pardon, even if their grammar is wrong. I think this is the best thing to do. Okay. Next. Me, teacher? Okay. Bueno, vamos a dar el orden después de... Bueno, ahorita quién está, sería quién? Brian? Sí, así es. Ok, después seguir, seguiría Jonathan. Y después, ¿quién fue que dijo mi teacher? Let me see, I don't see here. Ok, continue, Brian. Ah, creo okay. que eh, in, después. Ok, sería Brian, Jonathan, Ingrid, y después sigue eh, Mauricio, creo. Bueno, déjenme ver bien aquí para encontrar los nombres de todos. Mauricio, sí. Ok, excelente. Go ahead. Ok. Eh, I'm a bit shy when I have to speak in English. I'm a little worried about making mistakes. I also stick, still, I also still lack confidence. Many of my friends don't worry about mistakes. They just talk and talk. They always get their message across, even if the grammar is wrong. I think this is the best thing to do. Okay, thank you. Next. Okay, teacher. I am being shy when I have to speak in English. I am a little worried about making mistakes. I also still lack confidence. Many of my friends don't worry about mistakes. They just talk and talk. They always get their message across, even if their grammar is wrong. I think this is the best thing to do. Okay, thank you. Continue, please. Ingrid, Ingrid Calderon. Me, teacher. Yes. Desde el inicio o en el segundo párrafo, porque no, estaba. El primero, por favor. I am a bit shy when I have to speak in English. I am a little worried about making mistakes. I also still lack confidence. Many of my friends don't worry about mistakes. They just talk and talk. They always get their message across. Even, even if their grammar is wrong, I think it's the best thing to do. Okay. Los dos, o solo ese? Only, only one. Okay. Siga Mauricio. I, I'm a bitch. Shy when I have to speak in English. I am a little worried about making mistakes. I also still like confidence. Many of my friends don't worry about mistakes. 
They just talk and talk. They always get get their message across even if the grandma is grown. I think this is the best things to do. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? La preferencia. I'm a bit she went. I have to speak in English. I'm a little worried about making mistakes. I also still lack confidence. Many of my friends don't worry about mistakes. They use them at times. They always get hurt messy across, even if their grammar is worn. I think this is the best thing to do. The best things to do, the best things to do. Okay, I'm going to continue with the next paragraph in order that all of you can uh, interrupt with this one. Okay, the following paragraph saying this way, my teacher always said it's been the best to learn by doing. If I don't try to speak English, I never be able to use it when I need it. Once in I started doing this and I was talking about myself. I I had a short conversation with myself. I seen it worse. I also made short stories about people and say them aloud. I do this in my room of fur. People would think I'm crazy if I did it in class or on the train. Okay. Can continue? Mm, me teacher. Okay, go ahead. Sería el segundo párrafo, ¿verdad? Yes, only the second one. Only the second one. Okay. Um, my teacher always say it is best to learn be doing. If I don't try to speak English, I will never be able to use it to use it in when I need it. When things I started doing recently was talking to myself. I have a short conversation conversations with myself. I think it. I think it is words. It is words. Uh, I also make short stories about people and say them aloud. I do this in my room, of course. People will think I'm I'm crazy if I did I did it in class or on the train. Okay, what about this word? Uh, will you repeat the, the, the way that you pronounce this one? Yeah, the best to learn by doing. Yeah, by doing. By doing. By doing, uh, by doing. Okay. okay. By y el doing. Otro sería, uh, one thing I started doing recently. 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 I started doing recently. Okay. Recently. Recently. Recently was talking to myself. Okay, perfect. Okay, next, somebody else. Somebody else? Siguiente, siguiente, por favor. Blanca. Solo los mismos están leyendo. I don't know why. My teacher always says it's best to learn, be doing. If I don't try to speak English, I'll never be able to use it when I need it. One th thing I start doing recently was talking to myself. I have short conversations with myself. I think it worked. I also make short story about people and say them aloud. I do this in my room. Of course, people will be, think I crazy if I did it in class or on the train. On the train, on the train, okay. Okay, next, Catherine. Is your turn, Catherine? 
My teacher always says it's best to learn by doing. doing. If I don't try to speak English, I'll never be able to use it when I need it. One, one thing I... ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? One thing. Start, no, la, la que le sigue. Start, started. I started. Started. Um, I started doing. I started doing. Recent. Was talking, was talking to myself. Myself. I have a short conversation with myself. I think I work. I also make short story about people and say them aloud. Así es verdad, aloud. Yes. I do this in my room. If of course people would people would think I am crazy if I didn't I did it in class or my, or on the train. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia después donde dice people? People good think. This one. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Good. Good. La L no suena. Good think. Good. Gracias. Ok, somebody else wants to read it. Tengo, quiero ver, solo los mismos tengo. Bueno, solo ellos quieren aprender, Jonathan, y luego Mauricio. Ok, teacher. Um, my teacher always say it's best to learn by doing. If I don't try to speak English, I will never be able to use it when I need it. One thing I started doing recently was talking to myself. I have short conversation with myself. I think it works. I also made short stories about people and say them aloud. I do this in my room, of course. People would think I crazy if I did it in class on in class or on their train. Okay. Okay. My teacher always say it's best to learn by doing. If I don't free to speak English, I'll never be able to use in when I need it. One thing I started doing recently was taking to myself. I have short conversation with myself. I think it works. I also make short stories about people and say them aloud. I do this in my room, of course. People go think I'm crazy. If I did it in, in class or on the train. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to read? Alguien más? My teacher. Okay. My teacher always say it's it's best to learn by doing if I don't try to speak English I'll never be able to use to use it when I need it. One thing I start doing recently was talking to myself. I have short conversation with myself. I think it's work. I I also make short short stories about people and say things aloud. 
I don't, sorry, I do this in my room. Of course, people would think I'm crazy if I didn't eat in class or on the train. Okay. Okay, thank you. Next. Bueno, ya no hay next, entonces. Um, okay, let us try to do something now. Well, at the moment that you are going to develop your skills in order to, uh, talking about reading, I'm going to read the two paragraphs. Voy a leerle los dos párrafos. Eh, of course, at the moment that you are going to do it, you are going to do it uh, in your own post. Cada uno lo va a hacer en su velocidad que considere conveniente. ¿Sí? Okay. Decía, I'm a bit shy when I have to speak English. I'm a little worried about making mistakes. I also still lack confidence. Many of my friends don't worry about mistakes. They just talk and talk. They always get their message across even if their grammar is wrong. I think this is the best things to do. My teacher always said it is best uh, to learn by doing. If I don't try to speak English, I never be able to use it when I need it. One thing I started doing recently was talking to myself. I had short conversation with myself. I think it works. I also made short stories about people and say them aloud. I do this in my room. Of course, people could think I'm crazy if I did it in class or on the train. Okay, let us move to the next activity. Okay, and we are going to start talking about this. Let me erase this one. Okay. Okay, let's start. Ask some classmates where they work and the location of it. Also mention where we work and its location. ¿Qué dice la instrucción? Pregúntele a algunos compañeros dónde trabaja. Y dónde está ubicado el lugar. También mencione dónde usted trabaja y dónde está la ubicación suya. Ok, let us start doing this. Let us talk together about this. Ok, again, ask some classmates where they work and the location of it. Also mention where you work and its location. También mencione el lugar donde usted trabaja y su ubicación. Okay, let me try to do something different. Uh, let me see how many people I got. Only 17. Bueno, es la última semana y solamente tengo 13 personas. Y me parece que uno o dos me pidió Ahí de que iba a estar como oyente, pero bueno, vamos a ver qué podemos hacer acá. La señal está bastante baja. No sé. Okay, let us uh, let us talk about this question. Les he habilitado un breakout room de cinco minutos para que puedan hablar sobre el tema. Luego lo hacemos en la clase. Here we go.
Okay, welcome back. Let us share uh, the info.
who wants to start sharing the information? ¿Quién quiere iniciar compartiendo la información? ¿Puedo, teacher? Ok, good. Ok. Eh, a mí me correspondió con la compañera Roxana. Ok. Eh, pues formulamos dos preguntas. No sé si las voy a leer y ella me va a responder o yo leo lo que ella me respondió. You. <coughs> sí, chao. Va. Dice, where do you work? <coughs> Sorry. She is work in the office. Oficina creo que se dice así, ¿verdad? Ok. Next. Mm, say the location for the work. She is location in San Salvador. No sé si era más específica su respuesta o está bien así. La ubicación específica de su trabajo sería, por ejemplo, it office. Uh, her office is located in. Sí. Mm. Y tal vez no en San Salvador, sino tal vez en la colonia, ¿qué? Colonia Escalón. Mm -hmm. Más específico. Ok. Va. Pero... Así lo dejamos nosotros. Ok, ok, don't worry about it. Thank you. Ok, another thing that I need is that you record the information. You are not going to read the question. No, no necesitan leer las preguntas. For example, uh, alguien podría decir, I talked with Mauricio. Yo hablé con Mauricio. He told me, él me dijo, he told me he worked in... Él me dijo que él trabaja en, y digo el nombre de la empresa, which is located in, la cual está ubicada en, por ahí va la idea, ok, who, who wants to continue? ¿Quién continúa? Hola. Hola, teacher. Ok, continue, Mauricio. Eh, I told me eh, Jonathan and Brian eh, de ¿cómo, me, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Que ellos me dijeron. Disculpe. ¿Dey? Ajá, they eh, they will be, creo yo que sería. ¿Qué palabra necesita? Ellos me dijeron. Uh, they told me. Ah, uh, they told me in uh, work, Jonathan and the enterprise uh, Probusque uh, is location on San Salvador and Brian working in the Hugo Enterprise location in the Colonia Escalón uh, in San Salvador. Okay. Ok, thank you, somebody else. Así quiero que cada quien vaya produciendo lo suyo. ¿Quién sigue? Anybody else? Okay. Sure. See you, Jonathan. Okay. Um, Brian and um, Brian and uh, told told me. He's work in Ugo app and he 
is location work in Colonia Escalón. Okay. Next. Siguiente, ¿quién? ¿Nadie más? Bueno. Okay, let me continue then if anybody wants to share the information. Okay, Galsi asked some classmates where they work in the location of it. Also mention where do you work in its location. Okay, but let me continue because of the time I'm going to continue. Oh, well, let, let me show you my presentation. Uh, okay, hold on a second. And click here. Well, I have two of them. Let me start with this one. Okay, let us talk about preposition. What, what is the meaning of the word preposition? Dígame primero cuál es el significado de esa palabra preposición. What is that? Solo un concepto. Tell me. Y no mal recuerdo, teacher, sirve más que todo para unir. O sea, hay, hay diferentes preposiciones, ¿verdad? Pero más, más que todo su función solamente, si no me recuerdo, son para unir sustantivos y para hacer una unión con los pronombres, con los pronombres con los cuales se va a llegar a utilizar. No sé si estoy mal. Okay. okay. Let us first uh the, the use preposition of place are used to show the position or location of one thing with another. Las preposiciones de lugar en este caso son usadas para demostrar la posición o ubicación de algo con otra cosa. Okay, veamos. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, take a look at the, at the picture that I have. In the third one, where, where is the where is the key? Teacher, podría ser the gap under the box. It is it is under the box. It is under. Under the box. Okay. Next, the beer between the box. Boxes, sería, verdad? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> between the boxes, because it's plural. Okay, what about number three? Sería the cat next to the box. The cat is next to the box. Okay. What about this one? I sería dentro es on, si no me equivoco, ¿verdad? The cat on the box. No. No. In. Ah, in. In the box. What about this one? Okay, try to remember, try to remember. I'm going to show you something else here. Okay, which position of play is this? Okay, take a look. What about this one? Tell me. On there? Okay, let me see. Oh, okay, under, okay, that's what. What about this one? On. It is? 
on, I think. It is on, okay. What about this one? We proceed, which preposition play this? Front. Front is front. It is? Front. In prana, okay, in prana. Okay, hold on a second, please. We already saw this one. Okay, you say on. Okay, in front of, what about this one? It is behind, behind. Okay, next one. What about this one? Será next to? Let us see. Okay, it is next to. What about this one? In. In, okay. What about this one? Between. Between, okay, between. And now is your turn. Okay, resolve this uh, from one to six. Take a screenshot and resolve in your not, please. Haga una captura y resuelva por favor en su cuaderno. Tiene cinco minutos para hacer. Teacher, puede poner la, la imagen completa, porfa, para poder ver cómo están las cosas. Ok, I'm going to show you the picture. Ok, ahí está la imagen. Thank you. Pero entonces ya no se ven las demás. Pregunta. Okay, hold on. Okay, and that way, maybe. Así sí se ven todos.
Did you finish? Finish. Finish, teacher. Okay. Okay, let her resolve. Who wants to read the third one? Quien quiere leer la número uno? Puedo, teacher? Okay, read it. She is sitting on a chair. Okay, she is sitting on a chair. Number two, somebody else, alguien más? Lee la número dos, por favor. There is another chair in front of the women. Number three. Number are under the table. The feet are under the table. Okay, now four. Number four. The woman is holding a cup in her hand. The woman is holding a cup. Her hands. What is the missing word? Okay, number five. On the table are a laptop, a paper, a calculator, an appointment calendar to a pen and in a moving. In a mapping. Okay, number six. The woman's back is on the table. The woman back is. Is on. He's talking about the, the woman back. Use this. It is under the table. Okay, hold on a second. Let me share something now. Okay, let us clarify the concept first. Okay, hold on a second. This is the same. This one is the same. What I want is not this one.
Agarrar Okay, but now I got the, the concept about this. Aquí tenemos el concepto, lo que puedo decir al inicio. Okay, what is a preposition? Tenemos diferentes conceptos. A word that connects a noun, a pronoun, a phrase, to other words. And puede ser una palabra que conecta a un nombre o otro nombre en una frase o a otra palabra en una oración. Luego, is a word that can indicate direction, location, or time. Ojo, una palabra que nos puede indicar dirección, ubicación, y tiempo. Is either a simple preposition consistent of one word. Puede ser compound preposition consistent of two words. Puede ser a simple compuesta. Cuando estamos hablando de compuesta, pueden ser dos o tres palabras. Usually come before a noun. Usualmente viene antes de un nombre. Usually not placed at the end of the sentence. Unless part of a phrase. Usualmente no viene al final de una oración. Al menos que sea parte de una frase. Luego tenemos el concepto y dice preposition is place, is prime position, is the person or thing. In relation to another person, sí. la proposición de lugar de que una posición de una persona sobre uh, o cosa en relación a otra persona o cosa. Eso es el concepto. Ahí lo tenemos. Preposition of play, you try the position of the person who thinks in relation to another person who thinks. Ok, pregunta antes de avanzar, por favor, si hay dudas. No. Teacher, ¿podría dar un ejemplo para poder comprender mejor? Por favor. Okay. Ok, uh, los ejemplos que podemos tener son referentes a cómo funciona con un nombre. Uh, I can say, for example, Maria is in the house. María está dentro de la casa. ¿Cómo funcionaría con un pronombre? She is in the house. Entonces so, serían como que ejemplos más comunes, más simples. Voy a vamos a ver eh, algunos conectados justamente con lo que acabamos de leer. Ok, iniciamos con in. Ok, prepositioning. We use the preposition in for an enclosed space. Ojo con esto, vamos a usar la preposición in para un espacio cerrado. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos, mire, in the garden, in the house, in London, in the weather, in her bath, in the road, in a town. There is nobody in the world. She lives in a small village. Esto sería como ejemplo usándolo con in. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta ahí? Okay. 
de mi parte no teacher. No teacher. Okay, let us continue. Then. But don't forget this concept. No, no se les olvide que in lo vamos a usar por espacio para espacio cerrado. Ahora tengo on. ¿Cómo me va a funcionar? We use the preposition on for a surface. Donde haya una superficie voy a usar on. For example, on the wall, on the ceiling, on the floor, on a page, on a cover. Y tengo ahí una pregunta. Have you seen some? Uh, the notice on the notice board. Entonces, todo lo que tenga una superficie vamos a usar on. Where is the picture? On the wall. Where is the lamp? On the ceiling. Y así sucesivamente. Teacher, on es sobre, ¿verdad? In sería dentro. In that case. Porque en algunos casos in solo va a significar en. Pero nos está denotando el, el espacio donde se da. Por ejemplo, aquí si yo me regreso. Observe, in the house. In the water, in the glass. Ya sabemos que. A qué se refiere. No? No sé por qué no está cargando. Okay, let us do this one first. Vamos a cambiar de, de rutina y vamos a hacer un ejercicio.
Ok, por ahí está. Háblalo, por favor. Okay, do it, do it, do it. He apagado la cámara por cuestiones de señal. No sé por qué no está dando señal baja. Finish, teacher. Okay.
Okay, all of you finished? ¿Puedo finalizar? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, let us continue here. Okay, take a, take a look at this exercise number two. Observemos el ejercicio dos, por favor. Listen to your teacher read the following place from the map. I got the bank, a sport palace, school, mall, the restaurant, airport company, the book world, the city hall, the church, park, mall. So son como los lugares que tengo, ¿no? If I ask you, for example, where is the mall? How can you tell me using preposition? Si yo le pregunto, ¿dónde está el mall? ¿Cuál sería su respuesta? Dime. Teacher sería the mall across from the park. Podría ser una opción. Busquemos otra. También podría ser the mall between eh, the bank and restaurant. Ok, it is between the bank and the restaurant. Ok. If I ask you, where, where is the city hall? ¿Saben lo que es city hall? Alcaldía, teacher. Ok, yes. Where is the city? Next to church. Okay, it could be next to church. Okay, it is uh, on Second Avenue. You can say that too. Okay, where is the restaurant? Where is the restaurant? Donde está el restaurante? Tell me. On the first of our event on Roosevelt Street. Okay. Where is the where is the school? Teacher a school is the across from the shore. Across? Across from. The shirt. The shirt. Okay, where is the shirt? Where is the shirt? Okay. 
the chores uh, on the second avenue second from avenue. the park. The second avenue. From the park. Okay. okay, next one. Where is the book world? Where is Book World is from a city hall on the road street. Okay. Okay, let us move. Uh, we have three questions. Which street is the restaurant on? Listen to the question. Which street is the restaurant on? The second one. Which street is the city hall on? And the third one said, which street is the park on? Okay, you have three minutes to answer this. Okay, who wants who wants to answer the fair question? Ya responde la pregunta uno. Okay, Roxana. Teacher sería it on Roosevelt Street. It is on Roosevelt Street, okay. Second one, which street is the city hall on? Okay, question two. I'm going to take a look at the map if you want to see some more back. Okay, you have it there. I still map away and go forward. Which street is the city hall on? Sobre qué calle está la alcaldía? Sí. 
teacher in Second Avenue. Okay. The city hall is right here. Está preguntando sobre la street. Crossbell Street. It is on Roosevelt Street. Okay, okay. Okay, number three, which street is the park on? The park on between Roosevelt Street and Barrio Street. Okay, let me see here. Okay, you have it there. Ahí lo tienes. That is what you said. Okay, let us continue. How to use simple preposition of place? Okay, take a look on. Uh, I'm going to use on Fourth Avenue, on the corner, on the street. Esas tres formas. Uh, and for example, the next one, in El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood. I guess to use in, in, and the last one, at, at the meeting room, at work, at the bank, when we talk about a specific point. Cuando hablamos de puntos específicos, entonces usamos A. Okay, let me see what else we have here. Okay. Uh, let us resolve exercise number five, complete the location of the typing using the correct preposition play, and then you can compare. Okay, go ahead. Teacher, puede poner un momento la, la imagen anterior, por favor. Okay, this one. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Thank you. Ben, ben. Thank you, teacher.
did you finish? Not yet? You know this song? Yes, teacher. Oh. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, who wants to read uh, number one? Can you hear the uh, number one? Love. I work in the bank that is on First Avenue and various strip. I work in the bank that is on First Avenue and various street, okay. Number two. Puedo, teacher? Yes. Their factory is located in La Libertad. Okay. Next one. We see you at training room or in the cafe, cafeteria. We see you on the training room or in the cafeteria, okay? Number four. Number four, please. Anna works in the company that is in town. Okay, number five. My relatives go to the mall that is Roosevelt Street. What is the word that is missing there? Um, um, Roosevelt Street. Okay. And the last one, telling that we are at the meeting run with everybody. Which one is missing there? Teacher, yo creo que en la silla está el ya lo tiene el app. Ah, ok, perfecto. Sí, porque no pueden estar dos juntas. Ok, nice. Ok, I love that. Ok, haga por favor una captura de este ejercicio y lo haremos en el review el día de mañana, por favor. Put in the correct preposition in, on, or at. Me avisa, por favor, si ya la hizo. La pueden compartir en el grupo. ¿Sí ya la tienes? Ya, teacher. Okay, well, I'm going to stop here because of the time. Vamos a detenernos acá por el tiempo. Ok, 
Okay. Let me check out the, the attendance. Vamos a revisar la asistencia de hoy. America. Okay, thank you, Blanca. Okay, Brian. Present. Diego. Present. Edwin. Sahil. Ingrid. Jonathan. Present. Jose Luis. Present. Carla. Present. Catherine. Present. Soraya. Soraya, it's not here. Mauricio Antonio. Present. Oksana Alvarez. Present. Oksana Elizabeth. Present. And Sara Alejandro. Present. Okay, thank you. That's all for today. Uh, maybe later on I'm going to share with you some material related with this. Posiblemente por ahí les comparta algún ejercicio relacionado al uso de estas preposiciones para que lo puedan completar y lo hacemos el día de mañana en el eh, inglés. Está respondiendo hasta ahorita. Ok. Okay, thank you. Uh, don't forget to work in the platform. No se les olvide trabajar los ejercicios que les hacen falta en la plataforma, por favor. Necesitamos estar al día eh, con las notas al viernes después de la clase. Por favor. Okay, good night and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. Okay, good bye. night, teacher. Good night, good night teacher.